In this video, you're going to learn how to set up single touch payroll in Xero and how to file the information with the ATO each time you process a pay run. This video is actually part of a full course. So if you want to learn more about Xero payroll, check out the info and the links in the description below. Now, before we go into Xero, I'd just like to point out a few things about single touch payroll. First of all, it is important to understand that the single touch payroll system is designed to allow you to report your salary and wages, pay as you go withholding tax and superannuation data to the ATO each time you process a pay run. This means you no longer have to give your employees payment summaries or group certificates at year end, nor do you have to submit a payment summary annual report to the ATO. And finally, you can set up and start using single touch payroll anytime you like in Xero. So I'll show you where to go to set it up in the demo company. And then when I go to show you how to file the information with the ATO, I will need to use a live account because it can't be done in the demo company. So I will need to blank out some information at that point, but you'll still be able to see how to do it. So to set up single touch payroll, you just go to payroll and pay employees. And then at the top of the screen here on the right, there's a link that says set up single touch payroll. So you just click on that. And then after you click on get started, it will take you through a series of screens. So I've copied those screens from a live account so I can at least show you how it works, but I have had to change some of the sensitive information so that it's not real information. So what you do next is you click on get started and then you'll be taken to a screen that looks like this. So there's just a little blurb there about what happens when you opt into single touch payroll. And when you're ready, you can just click opt in. And that takes you to the next screen in which it asks you to review your organization details. So it just grabs these details out of your zero file, like your company name and your ABN, etc. So you just need to check those. And once they're okay, you can just click on continue. And then finally, you're taken to a screen where you can connect zero to the ATO. So there's instructions on there about what you need to do. You actually do need to contact the ATO and they will talk you through the process. The main thing you're going to need is that software ID number down the bottom there, the one here that starts with 83. So that's the software ID number for zero. They'll ask you for that and they'll put the details in and then they'll talk you through what you need to do next to register. And once you're registered, you can file your information directly from payroll to the ATO. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. Okay, to finish off this lesson, I'm just gonna show you how you actually file your single touch payroll information with the ATO. So you can see here, I'm in a live account and I've had to blank out some information um, as it's um, real information for a real company. But you can see here, we're on the main pay run screen and you can see the pay run history here. And on this column on the right, there are some indicators telling you whether the information from that particular pay run has been filed or not. So the ones that say filed, the information has been sent to the ATO, so that's done and the one that says not filed there, that's from the latest pay run, and that hasn't been sent to the ATO yet. So if I click into that pay run, and I scroll down to the bottom, you can see here there's a file button down the bottom. So all I need to do is click on that button and it will file the information for this particular pay run to the ATO. So I'll do that now. And you can see that there's a declaration here uh, that you need to approve. So I'll just click on file now because I approve of it. And that's it. So I'll close the pay run. And we come back to the main screen here and you can see now it's got a status of pending. So the ATO will receive the information and check it. And if it's okay, then the indicator here will change to filed in future. And that's it, the information will be filed. So that's the end of this lesson. Now you know how to set up single touch payroll for your business. And you also know how to file the information with the ATO every time you process a pay run.